हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति फैट लॉस विद योगा ये क्वेश्चन आप लोगों ने मुझसे बहुत बार पूछा है सो आई डिसाइडेड टू कम अप विद द थ्री वीडियो सीरीज जिसके फर्स्ट पार्ट में हम लोग कवर करेंगे लोअर बॉडी सेकंड पार्ट में बेली एरिया एंड थर्ड पार्ट में आर्म्स एंड चेस्ट आज की प्रैक्टिस में हमारा फोकस रहेगा फैट लॉस फ्रॉम लोअर बॉडी तो योगा से वेट लॉस होता कैसे है लेट मी शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस विद यू जब आप एक आसना को रिपीटेटिवली प्रैक्टिस करते हो तो वो आसना जिस एरिया पर मेजरली काम कर रहा है उस एरिया से आपका फैट लॉस होना स्टार्ट हो जाता है फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल एक ट्विस्ट लेते हैं हम आज आप वो ट्विस्ट इतना कर पा रहे हो सो विथ प्रैक्टिस आपका वो ट्विस्ट डिपेंड हो जाएगा राइट right? सो so, आपका अगर अपडोमिनल फैट है तो वो कम होता चला जाएगा लाइक like, 10 डेज की प्रैक्टिस में आप यहाँ पहुँच जाओगे 50 डेज की प्रैक्टिस में आप यहाँ पहुँच जाओगे तो क्या हो रहा है कि आपकी रेगुलर प्रैक्टिस से रिपीटेटिव प्रैक्टिस से उस एरिया का फैट कम होता चला जा रहा है एंड आपका आसन डीपन होता चला जा रहा है एक बहुत ही पॉपुलर दोहा है आपने सुना होगा करत करत अभ्यास के जड़मती हो सुजान रसरी आवत जात के सिल पर परत निशान तो जिस तरीके से रस्सी के आने जाने से पत्थर पर भी निशान पड़ जाता है उसी तरीके से रिपीटेटिव प्रैक्टिस से जब आप एक ही चीज़ को बार बार करते हो तो आपका उस एरिया से जहां पर वो पॉशर काम कर रहा है फैट लॉस होना शुरू हो जाता है प्रैक्टिस स्टार्ट करने से मैं आपको पहले बता दूँ जब हम फैट लॉस की बात करते हैं तो इसमें सेवेंटी रोल प्ले डाइट का होता है वेर एज रोल प्ले एक्सरसाइज का होता है सेवेंटी की बात करें तो इसमें डाइट एंड लाइफ का रोल होता है एंड इस पर मैं एक वीडियो पहले ही बना चुकी हूं जिसका लिंक मैंने यहां दिया है एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन में भी मेंशन किया है आज के वीडियो में हमारा फोकस रहेगा इस 30 परसेंट पर तो स्टार्ट करते हैं आज की प्रैक्टिस जिसमें हमारा फोकस रहेगा लोअर बॉडी पर बट ये आसना सिर्फ लोअर बॉडी पर ही काम नहीं करते हैं ये ओवरऑल बॉडी पर काम करते हैं ये आपके कोर पर भी काम करते हैं स्पाइन पर भी काम करते हैं आर्म्स चेस्ट बट फोकस लोअर बॉडी पर रहने वाला है आज के प्रैक्टिस में Sit comfortably, spine uplifted, shoulders rolled back and completely relaxed. Close your eyes. Head is aligned with your spine. Observe your breath. Feel each inhalation and exhalation. Set the intent for today's practice. Prepare your mind for the practice. Palms to the chest center. Gentle blinks. Open your eyes. Namaste. Start करेंगे आज की practice Malasana से, which is also called as Garland pose. So you can go on the right toes, then on the left, right, left. Now settle yourself in the center. With your elbows, push your knees out. Look forward. Gaze is fixed at one point. And by chance, आपको मालासना properly नहीं आता है. I mean, if you are not able to touch your heels to the floor, what you can do in that case, you can roll your mat. आप अपनी मैट को कम्प्लीटली रोल कर सकते हो और फिर उसके बाद यू कैन कीप योर हील्स ऑन द मैट आपको थोड़ा हाइट मिल जाएगा एंड देन यू कैन इजिली परफॉर्म दिस पॉस्चर विद गुड लेंथ इन योर स्पाइन एंड वंस यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद दिस डू इट विदाउट रोलिंग योर मैट एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग मलासना मेक श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ द वेट इज ऑन योर हील योर टोस्ट शुड बी फ्री टू मूव With your elbows, push your knees out, gaze forward, and breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, take your right armpit down. Place your right fingertips to the right side. and extend your left arm up 
Look up at your left thumb. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Now change, left armpit down, placing your left fingertips to the left side and extending your right arm up. Look up at your right thumb, breathe there. One, deep breaths, two, three, four, and five. Now fingertips down, straighten your legs, ragdoll. Grab your opposite elbows. Make sure your biceps in line with your ears. Upper body loosely hanging. Relax. Your knees mild bent. Now, both the hands at your waist, look forward, slowly come up. Spread your feet wide, toes slightly pointing out. Interlace your fingers, extend your arms up. Now inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, squat down. Up completely niche nahi ja sakte ho, to half bhi chalega. Inhale up, exhale down. And by chance aapke knees hurt kar rahe hain, then also go halfway. Inhale up, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale, exhale six. Inhale, exhale seven. Zada apne thighs ko engage karne ki koshish karna so that pressure knees par na hai. Inhale up, exhale eight. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale 10. Now extend your arms forward, spread your legs even wider. Bring your knees hip in one line through the Utkata variation and extending your arms forward. You will feel a lot of stretch in your inner thighs. Breathe there. One. And your spine is parallel to the floor. Two. Neck is a part of your spine, so make sure that your neck is not hanging. It is in line with your spine. Three, four, and five. Grabbing your opposite elbows. Again, drag doll. Knees mild bent, upper body loosely hanging, and your biceps in line with your ears. Lengthen your breath, deepen your breath. Good. Now place your palms down, send your legs back to downward facing dog. Keep your fingers wide open. Feet hip width apart, shoulders externally rotated, shoulder blades away from each other. Agar heels floor se touch nahi ho pa rahe hai, in that case bend your knees and work more on lengthening your spine. Now look forward and step your right foot forward in between your palms. Right knee, right ankle in one line, right thigh parallel to the floor. Gaze forward, both the hands at your waist, lift your chest up and extend your arms up. Breathe, you can interlace your fingers, index finger pointing up. Keep pushing your left heel back to keep your left leg absolutely straight. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Your palms down, sending your right leg back to downward facing dog. Now step your left foot forward in between your palms. Set the alignment, knee ankle in one line. Left thigh parallel to the floor. Gaze forward, hands at your waist, lift your chest up and extend your arms up. Breathe there. Keep pushing your right heel back to keep your right leg straight. One. Two. Three. Feel the burning sensation in your left thigh and a lot of stretch in your right thigh. Four and five. Exhale, palms down, send your left leg back. Downward facing dog. When you are in down dog, gaze at your knees. Now, bringing your heels together, making a V with your feet. Now step your right foot forward in between your palms, putting your back foot down, slowly come up to warrior two, Virbhadrasana two. So for Virbhadrasana two, make sure hip, shoulder in one line, right thigh almost parallel to the floor, right knee, right ankle is in one line, arms at shoulder level, Turn your head to the right, gaze at your right center finger. Also make sure that your abdomen is pulled in and your pelvis is slightly tucked. One, two, feel that burning sensation in your right thigh, three, four, and five. Now keep your right forearm down on your right thigh, sink down a little bit more, extend your left arm over your head, Pashwakona on your right side. Look up to the ceiling through your left armpit, breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, look down, exhale, palms down and send your right leg back to downward facing dog. Couple of breaths in down dog. Now again make a V with your feet, heels together, toes out and step your left foot forward in between your palms. Put your back heel down, come up. Warrior two on your left side. Set the alignment, left thigh almost parallel to the floor, knee ankle in one line, right leg straight, back foot grounded, hips and shoulder in one line, arms at shoulder level, turn your head to the left and gaze at your left center finger. Breathe. One, two, Three, four, and five. Now keep your left forearm down on your left thigh, right arm goes over your head. Look up to the ceiling through your right armpit. Breathe there. One, two, three, four and five inhale look down exhale palms down and send your left leg back and downward facing dog drop your knees down sit back in Adho Mukha Virasana your knees wide almost mat width apart and walk your palms forward 
put your forehead down relax catch your breath lengthen your breath deep in your breath Excellent. Inhale, look up. Now walk your palms back, your knees together. From here, tuck your toes, take your knees off, downward facing dog, and stepping your right foot forward in between your palms. Walking your fingertips in, turn your right toes in. From here, turn your right toes slightly to the right and your left toes slightly to the left. Now, Walk your fingertips to the right side for side lunge and bend your right knee, sink down. Now, on the other side, bending your left knee, straightening your right and down. Again on the right. Left. Right. left now right and hold if you are comfortable you can release your hands forward interlace your fingers and stay there and by chance your right heel is not grounded and you are like on your right toes it is completely fine with practice it will become better One, two, three, four, and five. Now on the left side, same posture. One, two, three, four and five onto the right and this time right fingertips to the right side and extend your left arm up breathe there one two three four and five repeat same on the other side left fingertips down to the left side and extending your right arm up one in this posture you will feel a lot of stretch in your left inner thigh two three four and five center center right toes turned in left toes turned in center Fingertips down, lengthen spine. And now, both the hands at your waist, look forward, slowly come up. Take your feet a little bit in. Right toes slightly turn to the right side. Left toes slightly turn to the left. It's a medium stance this time. Sink down, we'll go for a goddess variation. Sink down, sink down how much ever you can. Make sure your abdomen is pulled in and your pelvis is slightly tucked. So make sure you, your upper body is not falling forward like this, rather it is straight. With your straight spine, the posture is more effective. Sink down. Now once you are here, when your thigh is almost parallel to the floor, sink down a little bit more. Interlace your fingers and extend your arms forward and your spine parallel to the floor. Breathe there. You will feel a lot in your inner thighs. Breathe there. One. Two. Your biceps in line with your ears. Neck is a part of your spine. So don't let it hang. Three. Four. And five. Your forearms on your thighs. Now, 
your right palm on your right knee push your right knee out to the right side and turn your head to the left look up to the ceiling you should nicely push your right knee out to the right side so that you feel good amount of stretch in your thigh breathe there one two three four and five center to the other side with your left hand push your left knee out to the left side look up to the ceiling from the right one two three four and five center fingertips down straighten your legs toes pointing forward now for the next posture grab your toes if you cannot properly reach your toes you can grab the back of your shin or your ankle grab your big toes inhale look up lengthen your spine exhale bend forward and when you are bending forward make sure your, your elbows are also bending to the side one keeping your knees slightly bent here is also okay if your hamstrings are too tight and you're not able to straighten your legs it's completely fine three four make sure the bend is coming from your lower back and five inhale look up exhale out completely now fingertips down bring your feet closer squat down and sit back sit back bend your right knee right knee pointing up drop your right knee to the right side take your right heel closer to the perineum left toes turned in this is janu shirshasana either directly grab your left foot or you can grab your shin or your ankle wherever you can reach inhale lengthen your spine exhale bend forward if you are super comfortable highly flexible use your right hand to grab your left wrist also make sure your left toes are flexed towards you two you should feel a lot of stretch in the back of your left leg three four and five inhale look up exhale out completely release and now we'll go for a twist here basic twist bend your left knee your right leg is at the same place use your right hand to grab the outer edge of left foot extending your left leg look back and extending your left hand back breathe there by chance you're not able to maintain the balance you can use your fingertips for support behind your hips breathe one two also if you're not able to straighten your left leg it's completely fine keep it bent for some time with practice it will straighten three four and five inhale center exhale release now the other side straighten your right drop your left knee to the left side left heel goes close to the perineum so it's a right angle 90 degree here right toes flex towards you grab your right foot inhale lengthen your spine exhale bend your elbows and breathe super flexible use your left hand this time to grab your right wrist one Two, three, four, and five. Inhale, look up, 
exhale out completely release right leg bend with your left hand grab the outer edge of right foot and straighten your right leg once you are comfortable open your chest to the right side and extending your right arm back breathe one two three four and five inhale center exhale release okay now left heel close to the perineum hook your right foot in your left th okay now left heel goes close to the perineum hook your right foot in your left elbow and your right knee in your right elbow interlace your fingers outside of your shin by chance this is not coming for you what you can do keep your right foot in your left hand and your right knee in your right hand this is how you can move your right hip joint and if you are comfortable then you can do this one so we'll start now focus on your hip joint one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten center center shin is going close to the chest try keeping your spine lengthened and breathe there you will feel a lot of stretch in your right glutes two this is the preparation for padmasana three four and five release now repeating the same practice on the left side hooking your left foot in your right elbow and your left knee in your left elbow interlock your fingers outside of your left shin start moving your left hip joint one two three four keep breathing six seven eight nine and ten center shin going close to the chest and breathe keep your spine lengthened and feel the stretch in your left glute muscles one two three four and five release good now we'll do ardh padmasana for ardh padmasana place your right foot on your left thigh taking your heel close to the navel how much ever close you can take and stay there stay halfway breathe there if your knee is away from the floor you can work on taking the knee down good now repeating same on the other side release now we'll try for full padmasana and it's okay if it doesn't come for you with practice it will come now taking the foot left foot keeping it on the top of the right stay there breathe there can close your eyes if this position didn't come for you you can stick to ardha padmasana
now slowly release lie down on your spine right leg over the left and if you are comfortable go for a wrap this is eagle wrap open your arms at shoulder level dropping both the knees to the left and face to the right work on keeping your right shoulder down on the floor one two three four and five inhale center exhale release now left leg on the right wrap dropping both the knees to the right side and face to the left One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Put knees to the chest. not too tightly just in a relaxed way in such a way that your tailbone is also resting on the floor now grab the inner edge of your feet shin perpendicular to the floor stay ananda balasana we also call it as happy baby pose Slowly release. Release your legs in Shavasana. Spread your legs wide, mat width apart. Toes falling either side. Arms away from your body. Palms facing up to the ceiling. Your fingers naturally curled. Allow your armpits also to breathe. Do not hold on to any tension. Just relax and let. every inhalation feel the expansion of your abdomen with every exhalation your abdomen sinks down into the mat observe this abdominal movement while you are breathing Now scan your body from top to bottom. Relax and release all the tension from your body.
gently bring your awareness back to the body gentle movement in your fingers and your toes slowly move your head left right bringing your feet together extending your arms up interlock your fingers give a nice stretch from top to toes bend your left knee roll your body to the right side. The moment you feel comfortable, sit up in Sukhasan, keeping your eyes closed. Take a moment to acknowledge the experience of last practice. Observe the change in your mind which has come after the practice. Check your breath, has your breath slowed down? Your thoughts would have got reduced now. Hands at the back, grab your opposite elbows. Inhale, look up, arch your spine. Exhale, bend forward. Send your gratitudes to the universal energy and being thankful to the Mother Earth. Slowly come up, release your hands. Rub your palms nicely, generate the heat. Transfer this heat to that body part which you want to heal. And for emotional strength, you can place your palms on your chest. Once again, rub your palms. And this time, cup your eyes. Looking straight into your palms, gently open your eyes. Palms to the chest center. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. I'm sure आपने आज की practice enjoy की होगी Fat Loss Series के part टू में हमारा focus रहेगा belly area पर So I'll see you in part टू Till then, take care. Namaste.